So you found the perfect product and you've been promoting it. Are you getting a little discouraged because you're not getting the sales that you want? And many times what people will do is they'll just go find another product. They give up too soon. And nine times out of 10, the pro problem is not the product, but it's how much you're getting it out there. Not only do you have to get it out on different social media platforms, which I will be talking about next week, but you also want to present it in seven, several different ways. And today I'm going to give you seven different ways you can pr present the same product. Before we dig in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every Tuesday and Friday when I put out a new video where I can help give you tips on how you can promote your affiliate marketing products on YouTube. All right, let's dig in. Number one, I'm going to take a product and I'm, I just out of the blue chose one. I was sitting here looking at my desk and I have a Yeti microphone. Now I, I Googled it as a blue Yeti, but it's actually called Yeti. I'm going to give you a picture of it right here. I was going to show you the real one, but this is a Yeti and it comes in the color blue. And I'm going to show you seven different ways that I can make seven different videos, or you could do seven different blogs or seven different podcasts, however you want to do it and promote the same product. And at the end result, let's say this is my affiliate product, which I do have a link below if you want one that's down there. Um, but I'm going to show you seven different ways I can present it to you. And one of those seven ways might resonate with you as a buyer, like, oh, that I want that. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, you can present it by saying, I have a review. So in your YouTube video, we're going to talk about YouTube videos because that's what my channel is about, but it works also with blogs and podcasts. But how about if you did a blue Yeti review and the number one video that came up when I did the search is right here. And that's exactly what the title is blue Yeti mic review. That is one way you can present the blue Yeti microphone. And now again, it comes in different colors, but with that review you can talk about all the neat things that it does why would that person want this microphone and you can have a list of all the features of the microphone it's a review what are all the neat things that it does and why should that person want to buy it now you can see there are lots of different ways um, people have presented it but they're basically all reviews let's go to number two number two how to use a blue uh, a blue yeti microphone so ba basically you would do a tutorial or a step-by-step -step guide how to actually use it and you could actually show people you know this is how you plug it in this is um some of the problems that you might come across and i'm going to help you know you you avoid those as we're setting it up or whatever it is but right here how to use the blue yeti microphone properly don't know what you're doing wrong so she's i did not watch the video but she might bring up some of those things that people do by accident. I know when I first got my microphone, I didn't have a setting on my computer that was right and it wouldn't work. And I about went nuts. And I, of course, Googled it and found out that there was a setting that sometimes it will reset in your computer and um, it wasn't set to my Blue Yeti. It was kind of a weird thing behind the scenes, but I, you know, I found it out by Googling it. So these videos are valuable for everybody. So do a how to, how to set it up, beginner's guide, something like that, or some kind of a tutorial. How does your customer need to use the product? Do you give them a step-by-step -step guide? Um, are there certain things that they need to do? And you could call it a beginner's guide. There's all kinds of different names, how to use your blue Yeti, set it up, blue Yeti microphone, um, installation tutorial. So, and you might think, well, all I have to do is plug it in. Basically that was it, but people are making whole videos about that. And it's promoting that product. Now I bet I could go into any one of these videos and they probably have an affiliate link for you to click so that you can buy just like i have one below you can just click the link takes you directly to amazon and you can make a decision of whether or not you want it now here's number three blue yeti versus snowball now number three you can make more than one video there are tons of other microphones out there you can compare the blue yeti against all the other microphones and every time you make a comparison somebody's going to come look at it so maybe somebody was looking at the snowball and then you did a comparison with Blue Yeti versus Snowball, 
of course, how are you going to end up with your comparison? In your comparison, because you're selling the Blue Yeti, that's your affiliate marketing product, you're going to suggest, hmm, these are things the Snowball has, this is the things the Blue Yeti has, but I'm going to go with the Blue Yeti. What do you think? And then you can do it against another microphone. So you probably have 15 videos that you can make just comparing it to other products. Now, obviously, if there's a better product out there, you might not want to compare it to that one. Or you might say, here's the more expensive product, but I like the Blue Yeti because it does um, basically everything I need and it's more economical. So you could still bring that back to where it's a better choice. Number four, you can list all the pros and cons of using the Blue Yeti. Now, obviously, you're going to have more pros than cons, but it gives you another topic, another way of presenting your affiliate marketing product. And again, I'm using the Blue Yeti, but you're going to be using your product. What is it that you're using and what are the pros and cons? And you can list them out. Now, a lot of times when I'm doing videos like this, I will actually find my, my information. If I want pros and cons, a lot of people do blogs on pros and cons and it's all written out for you. You don't have to listen to somebody else's video or copy it, which you want to try to avoid. So a lot of times I'll just look up blogs and because they're usually more information and then I get my pros and cons and I, I get my information quickly and I can do a comparison. So that's just a little tip there on finding that information. Now, another thing that you can do in number five is just use the word the best. So I put in the best YouTube video microphone. Now, right here, are other ways you can present it. Now remember, you can say the best YouTube video microphone and then go on to describe the microphone. Oh, it happens to be the Blue Yeti. It's the one I use, it's my favorite. I think it's the best. Now, another way you can do that is say, five best microphones for YouTube. And this person said for YouTube in 2020. And in there, I've seen um, other um, articles and things that do that. They'll list even 20 different microphones and then somehow they end up promoting just one. So make sure that you're promoting, if that's your affiliate marketing link, make sure that's what you have below. Now, could you have all five microphones? Absolutely. You're, you're promoting affiliate marketing products. And if you want to say the five best microphones in 2020, you could do a review of each one of those. It would be pretty lengthy. I think this one is, how long is it? I don't see here. Um, it's not telling me. Oh, it's only eight minutes. So they didn't really go into too much detail, but you could do a really intensive review on the five microphones and then put all five links below. What do you care which one they buy at that point? You will get an, um, send them all to Amazon and you'll get a commission on any of them. So it doesn't matter. So you decide how you want to do it. If you don't want to promote the others and you only want to promote the one, then make sure in the end you're saying how that one was the best of the best. Now, this is an interesting way that you can promote your product. You can say the worst microphone for YouTube. So here's one, the worst microphone I have ever reviewed. So you can find a really lousy one, just Google it. And uh, people will write blogs like this is a really bad microphone. You can share the everything about it and then say, that's why I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone because it you know, overcomes all of those problems that this other one has. But sometimes that attracts people. Some people like videos that have angst in them or when people are really getting angry. Um, they like that. That attracts them. Other people like, you know, unicorns and butterflies. So you're attracting different people that are going to come in and look at the videos. Now, before I show you the last one, I want to go, um, before I show you the last one, I have a question. What microphone are you using? And why do you like it? So go ahead and put that down in the link below in the comments and tell us what microphone are you using and why do you like it? Like I said, I am using the Blue Yeti microphone. Mine is actually red. I don't know why I keep saying blue. I'm using the Yeti microphone and I finally decided on one and I think I, I got the red one because that's my favorite color and I've been extremely happy with it. I was so afraid. I was new with YouTube and I was so afraid to put a lot of money out like we all are. In the beginning, you don't want to put money out for a lot Lot of things and well you're afraid of spending your money on something and not sure if it's the right one and I will say a hundred percent I'm very very happy with it and I pretty sure I won't have to upgrade for a long long time so I back my product a hundred percent and there is a link below if you're interested in checking it out but don't forget to put in the comments let us know which one you're using and why you like it now let's go to the final way that you can promote your product 
This one is Blue Yeti Microphone Unboxing. You see a lot of people that will get on YouTube and they'll say, oh, I just got a new award or something like that. And they unbox it in front of you. And we are so nosy and so curious that, you know, we sit there, what is it? What is it? And that's how you can start it out. I just got this in the mail today. I've been so excited. And you can show you're unboxing it. You can show it as a surprise. Or you can say, my Blue Yeti came today and you can unbox it in front of your audience so that they can see it and people love that they love to see um, the unboxing and right here this uh, young lady has the blue yeti microphone unboxing and testing it so not only does she unbox it but then she puts it together and she tests it and you get to see more of it from there so i hope that was helpful but those are just seven different ways that you can promote your product i know when i was new in content i kept hearing content is king content is king and i really didn't understand why but it's king because people are not going to follow you unless you're giving them value you've got to keep giving them information and tips and and, and education in what you're doing and that's why they're going to keep coming back because they want it, you're answering their questions you're solving their problems and you don't want to have to keep coming up with a thousand different products you pick the few that you really like a lot um, whether it's software tools whether it's actual products or whether it's just products within a certain niche maybe you're in the healthcare industry and you want to sell things like yoga mats and weights and things like that but things that are going to help them as you're giving them instruction with the health and uh in the um fitness industry so you want to stay within your niche but you can really broaden that and find all kinds of products. That's what's so cool about affiliate marketing. It can be used in any business. Many people like myself, that is my primary business is affiliate marketing. And I've chosen those few that I really like that have brought in the best income, but you can have a different business. That's not quote affiliate marketing and use affiliate marketing as an additional stream of income. So everybody, everybody can use it in their business. And that's what I love about it. And if you're interested in starting an affiliate marketing business, I do have an ebook below that I've put together free for you. And it's four simple steps to get started. Each step will help you on your journey towards an affiliate marketing business. And before you go, don't forget to say something in the comments. Um, did you learn anything today? If you have any questions, please put those in the comments because I do answer. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I can take my face off.